Good evening, guys. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Can you listen to me, everybody? Yes. yes. Okay. Well, it's nice meeting you guys one more time. I'm happy to, to be here. We're going to start with a class. Um, well, first, I'm going to pass attendance. Today is the last class, right? Are you ready for today? Ready to start? Yes. Okay. Well, listen, eh, probablemente algunos se sienten una dificultad, ¿verdad? Me, me, me avisan si me escuchan bien, si me escuchan cortado, probablemente por una dificultad, ¿verdad? De, del Inter, señal específicamente por la lluvia, ¿verdad? Porque en algunos lugares se está viviendo, en la mayoría de lugares, pero acá se ha calmado, por una parte mejor, <ríe> no tenemos dificultades, pero cualquier cosa, si presentan dificultades, si. Eh, he estado viendo ahí en el grupo que han estado comentando ¿verdad? que tienen problemas, algunos que no se van a dormir, probablemente porque no hay luz, etcétera, etcétera. ¿verdad? Diferente de que funciona. Eh, es decir, que voy a estar pendiente y no se les olvide pues, que se está grabando y pues lo recomendable es si no podemos medirnos porque tenemos problemas de, de señal o de conexión, pues es ver la grabación. ¿verdad? No se preocupen. Sí. Let's begin. Let's go with the attendance first. That now. Present teacher. Here. Veronica Duran. Present teacher. Thank you. Edith. Yancy. Present teacher. Here. Alexis. Ana Maria. Present. Here, Anna Janet. Jenny. Jenny Saray. Present, sir. Here, William. William. Daniel. Present, sir. Here, Ruth Elizabeth. Present, sir. Here. Ruth Milagro. Present. Here. Luis. Luis. I think it's Luis. Luis, can you hear me? Richard Luis. Uh, Walter. Present teacher. Okay. Jose. Present. Here. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. Sonia. Present teacher. All right. Jaime. Jaime. Tulma. Present teacher. Gloria. Present. Here. Heidi. Present teacher. Right. Victor. Thank you, Victor. Gilma. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Jocelyn. Thank you, Jocelyn. Yes, yeah, thank you. Hello, hello, thank you. Teacher. Hey, Erika Yeseni. Erika Yesenia? I saw Erika Yesenia, but I think she's having an issue. Via Erika, but this is not going to be able to Vilma? Veronica Milagro? Present teacher. You, Veronica? Gerardo? Present teacher. Gerardo? Erika Marisol? Present teacher. You, Marta? And Carolina. Okay. Good evening for the ones that already joined us. William, present. Yeah, good evening. Anybody else? Who wants to come here? Good 
Okay, Luis. Yeah, thank you. Very well. Thank you. Edith, good evening. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much. What else? You must mention now. Oh, Marta, good evening. Come, Marta. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Thank Good. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, ¿qué más hemos escapado? Creo que estamos todos. Estamos acá. Perfecto. Si alguien se une o alguien se me ha olvidado, me, me comenta, por favor. Well, eh, well, guys, let's start. Eh, it's a pleasure to, to be with you again in this last class. This is class number 16. Yeah. So, it has been a pleasure to be with you in during these 16 classes. And yeah, today we'll have this, the topics, the final exam. We're going to discuss it together. We're going to revise it. And also we will have the last part, which is work power school dates. Today is Tuesday, August 17th, class number 16. Okay. Well, um, the first thing we're going to revise the final exam. Primero que vamos a hacer es vamos a revisar el examen. Recuerden que eh, se nos pide a los como facilitadores que al final vamos el examen con un participante, ¿verdad? Así es que vamos a hacer eso ahorita. Antes de iniciar con lo demás, ¿verdad? En este caso del, de los contenidos. Permítame, solo soy abriendo la, la plataforma. Eh, todos hemos completado la plataforma. Todos, todos, todos. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Yes, teacher. Perfecto. Recuerden que ayer, bueno, desde el fin de semana se les, se les hizo el recordatorio, ¿verdad? Eh, vía WhatsApp. De las autoridades de, de les compartido, ¿verdad? Con respecto al, al con, en la competición de la plataforma, ¿verdad? Perdón. Jaime, hello, good evening. Thank you for joining, Jaime. Y se nos está comentando, repito, con respecto a la plataforma, ¿verdad? Thank you, Jaime, de chat. Y teníamos hasta ayer específicamente para complementar todo, ¿verdad? La plataforma, todas las secciones, como se nos ha venido mencionando, ¿verdad? En las clases anteriores. Y al igual que el examen, el examen final. Así es que vamos a hacer eso ahorita, a discutir el examen final. Por si alguien tuvo alguna dificultad, alguna algún ejercicio que les generó bastante dudas, que lo vamos a discutir ahorita. Ahora les muestro. Recuerden que el examen estuvo dividido en seis partes. Tres partes. La primera fue de listening. Una parte, escuchar el audio, ¿verdad? Las posibles conversaciones. Y con base en eso, pues, contestar las preguntas. Así que vamos a escuchar el audio. Vamos a escuchar y ustedes me van a ayudar con las respuestas después. Vamos a ir verificando una por una. Y si hay dudas, hubo dudas o le, algún ejercicio les generó muchos problemas. Y pues les quedó esa duda, ¿verdad? Ustedes me dicen, ¿ok? Perfect. The first part was about listening. Listen. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations and select the best answer to the questions. That was the first part, right? We're going to listen to the audio. Okay. Yeah, because I cannot open it. I cannot play it there, right? So I will do it here. The first, please let let me know if you can listen to the audio. Can you? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. 
let's listen carefully to the audio list, to the conversations, and then we're going to complete the sentence for the same list. Here we go. Units 13 to 14 quiz. Part A. Listen to Helen and Mark's conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hey, Mark. Where are you going? Oh, my father's birthday is on Saturday. I need to buy him a present, so I'm going to Smith's department store. Are you going to drive there? No, I don't have any gasoline in the car. I'm going to walk. You know, I need to go to the bank. It's not far from Smith's. Can I come with you? Sure. 2. Uh-oh, I think we're lost. Where's Smith's department store? I'm not sure. I usually drive there. Do you know where it is? No, not really. Well, I think it's on 2nd Street. No, it's not. We're on 2nd Street now. I think it's on Main. You're right. It's on the corner of 1st and Main. 3. Um... So how do we get there from here? Well, we're on 2nd now, right? Yeah. So we just walk up 2nd to Main. Are you sure? Yes. Then we turn right. It's down the street on the left. 4. What are you going to buy for your father? I'm not sure. Maybe a tie? Oh, no. Not a tie. No? Then what? How about a nice sweater? Look at these sweaters here. Oh, they are nice. I think I'll get him one. Thanks. Okay, so that's basically the audio, right? In the audio, we have four conversations. If you listen to them, of course, you did this exercise previously, right? When you did the final exam, I just want I just wanted to play it again because you know, based on that, we're going to complete now the statements. You're gonna help me, okay? Remember each conversation, uh, you know, in this case, related to the statements, we're going to identify the answers for each conversation, right? Number one, what are Helen and Mark going? What is the answer? A bank, a bank in a department, a department store. store. Okay, the first option, department right? Store. Okay, that's number one. Number two, where is Smith's department store? On the corner of the first and May. The second option? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the number three, how do you get there? Sweater. Walk up second to, second to May, to May. Right. right. The third option. Okay. Walk up second to May, turn right. The third option. And the last one, what is Mark going to buy? A sweater. A sweater. Good. So those are the answers. Now let's check it out. And definitely those are the answers. So that was the first part, right? Did you have any difficulties in this part? Any difficulties? I no? have a question. And the first conversation is a department store. The answer is the first one. Oh, yeah. But it's right, the part M or, yeah. or is department. No, in this case, there is a mistake with the spelling. Yeah. Okay. Department is Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for asking too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's go with the second section. Letter B. Complete the sentences. The instructions were, look at the map to complete the sentences. So you were supposed to, to look at this map, look at this map, and based on that, you you were supposed to complete the sentence, right? A, for example, for example, a, this is the map, right? This was the map. And based on that, you were supposed to complete the statements. Number one, the department store is? Next to, next to the next bank. To, next next to. to the bank, okay. 
Number two, Al's Coffee Shop is the movie theater. The options? Across, across, from, across from. Okay. Across from. Across from. And the last one, Maria's restaurant is? On the corner. On the corner of. On the corner of. Okay. Okay, we'll continue. Let's check it out the answers now. Those were the answers, as you said, the apartment store is next to the bank. All's coffee shop is first from the movie theater. And Maria's restaurant is on the corner of Main Street and Second Avenue. Let's check it out. And absolutely, those were the answers. Next to, across from, on the corner of, etc. That was the second section, or letter B in this case. Let's go with letter C. Select the best answer. So you were supposed to select the best answer for each question. Where were you, where are your parents born in the US? In that case, the questions were like, you know, personal, right? Personal. Okay. No. So no? No, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. Okay, the, the first one. Yes. Okay. Yes, Good. Where do you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. In, I grew up in Tokyo. Okay, I grew exactly. up in Tokyo. Exactly. So we need to, in this case, we have the questions and we need to answer based on the prompts, right? Based on the question. Were your parents born in the US? The answer is no, they weren't. My parents were born in Japan. Second, where do you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. Number three, who was your first teacher, your English teacher? Who was your first, first English teacher? My first, first English, English teacher was Mr. Sato. Sato. Okay. Sato. Okay, very good. Number four, when do you come to New York? I came to New York in 1998. I came to New York in 1998. That's number four. Number five, how was your first day in the U.S.? It was a little scary. It was a little scary. It was, it was, it was a little scary. Yes. Okay, excellent. Absolutely, those are the answers. Good. Letter D, what do you have to do in letter D? You have to match the verse to the nouns. Instructions, match the verse with the correct words or phrases. Correct one, hat? A picnic. A picnic. picnic. Okay. Number two, played? Tennis. 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 Number three, took? Photos. 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 Four went? Swimming. 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 And number five, so? A play. A play. A play. A play. Yeah. Excellent. Let's check it out. Yes, that's for the answers. Letter E, what about the finish, okay? Complete the conversation. So you were supposed to complete, or in this case, fill in the blanks, right? Fill in the blanks with the correct answers. Or in this case, we will get sentences or questions. The number one, well, we, in this case, because we have conversations, we have questions and answers, right? Number one, do you have, do you do have you or have you have? Do you, Did have, you have, have? Exactly, because it's a question. Do you have a good weekend? Not really. I studied all weekend. I studied all weekend. It's second. Anything last weekend? Did they, they do, do anything last weekend? They, did they do anything last weekend? Yes, they. Went, went went hiking in the woods. Exactly. Hiking they went the hiking woods. in the woods. Number three. Anything at the mall? Did she get did anything she get. at the mall? Did she get anything at the mall? No, she went shopping, but she didn't buy. Didn't buy anything. Excellent. Let's check it out. Yes. As we can now is also the answers. Excellent. The last one. So you were supposed to re read the article. 
and complete the sentences. This was the article. So you read it, right? You read it. And based on that, you were supposed to complete this statement. Next with the article. Let's read the article. I'm going to read it for you. Please follow the reading. And I'm going to ask you based on that. Uh, the article is called Home Alone, like the movie, right? Home Alone. Jerry Carson, 16, had a terrible weekend. His parents went to visit his aunt, but he stayed home. He got up early on Saturday and went downstairs to the basement to laundry. He went back upstairs, but at the top of the stairs, the door was locked. He pushed on, on it, but it didn't open. He called to his neighbors, but they didn't hear him. Luckily, Jerry had food to eat. There were some extra groceries in the basement, and he had a place to sleep. He put some clothes from the laundry on the floor and slept on them. His parents came home Sunday morning and found Jerry in the basement. We called Jerry late Saturday night, but he didn't answer the phone, said his father. We came home right away. We're just happy he's all right. Okay, that was the article about, and of course you have to hear the statements. Why did Jerry go to the basement? To the laundry. To do laundry. To the laundry, okay. Where did Jerry sleep? Jerry on the floor. On the floor. On the floor. Yes. And the last one, number three. What did Jerry's parents return home Sunday morning? Because Jerry, Jerry didn't, didn't answer the phone when his parents called to check on him. Yes. Okay, take it out. The last four. Absolutely. Very good job, guys. And again, congratulations because you have completed the. This, the platform successfully, it's really nice. I appreciate your efforts and dedication in these activities. Any questions about the platform? No, teacher. No sé si tuvieron alguna dificultad con algún ejercicio, alguno que no estuvo claro. Me comento, no ningún problema. Todo excelente. Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, guys, that was the, the review of the final exam. We will continue and we're going to go to the class. Remember the topic, the other topic is work power at school days. Let's begin. That was about an exam, we already discussed it. Now let's go with it. the topic. For power school days. We're going to complete the warm up with words from the list. What, you, what, what you have to do is that. I'm going to show you some words related, related to school days, right? School things. Okay, here we have some vocabulary related to school, right? Classroom, kindergarten, elementary, gym, high, history, junior high, lunch room, sorry, lunch room, math, physical education, playground, and science. What I wanted to do, you're going to classify these words in the warm up. So you had the warm up, the school days, and we had some different categories. First category is classes. Second is schools, kinds of schools. And the last one is places. What you have to do is to classify these words in the warm up, in the three categories. For example, number one, classroom. So we classify it in places. The first one. Elementary. Okay. So okay. that's, oh, no. Excuse me, excuse me. No, no worries, no worries, no worries. That's good. Elementary, tell me, where do we place elementary? Classes, schools, or places? Classes, schools. 
class the schools, okay? It's this one, school. places. this one is placed in the schools. It is a kind of a school, elementary school. Okay. Now listen. Yeah, no worries. We discuss that one. I will give you some time. I will give you a few minutes in your notebooks. Please classify these words in the warm up. I will give you five minutes. Then we're going to uh, discuss together and we're going to you know classify the words together. Let's go. Take your time. As soon as you finish, please let me know. Classify the words. Classroom, kindergarten, elementary, gym, high, history, junior high, lunchroom, math, physical education, playground, and science. And the three categories, classes, schools, or places. Questions. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let me know if you're ready, please. Okay, I think we're going to start classifying the the, the words right. Let's let's go first with places. Let's continue with places. The first one is classroom, right? Tell me another place that we can classify there. Gym. Gym, okay. Gym. Another one. Lunchroom. Lunch room. Lunch room, okay. And the another one. Playground. 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 Exactly. Okay, do we have another one? No. No, right? Okay. Let's go with the schools. 
Tell me the kinds of schools. Kindergarten. 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 Yes. Elementary. Junior Elementary. High. high. Junior high. High. Uh, junior high. high. High school. Junior high. And junior high school. Yes. Exactly. Classes. What about classes? History. 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 Math. History. Math. 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 Physical, Physical education. 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 Science. 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 Exactly. That is the classification of the, the words in the different categories. Classes, schools, and places. Okay. Any questions over here? <clears throat> no. Okay, again, we're talking about school days. Okay, we're going to remember those special days that we had in the past. Well, classes, the places, you know, in our schools, the classes, et cetera, et cetera, okay? Again, places, classroom, gym, lunch room, playground, schools, kinds of schools, we have a kindergarten, elementary school, high school, and middle high school. Classes, history, math, and physical, physical education, and science, okay? Now, having in mind this, having in mind this, I'm going to move on to the following part, and I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay, we're going to ask and answer the following questions. Number one, where do you go to elementary school? Listen, look at the question first and listen to it. Where do you go to elementary school? For example, in my case, I went to Fe Alegría. What about you? Where do you go to elementary school? I will pick up some participants. Um, let me see. Gilma, where do you go to elementary school? Ilma, can you hear me? Sí. Okay. I went to Marcelino Garcia Flamenco in Santa Tecla. Oh, okay. Excellent. Thank you. Sí. Jose, where do you go to elementary school, Jose? I went to Liceo Cristiano Juan Bueno. Oh, okay. Thank you. Very good. Sulma, where do you go to elementary school? Elemental. Yes. Uh, Basilio Plantier. Oh, okay. Perfect. Good. Okay. Uh, Anna Jeanette. Yeah, no worries, Anna Jeanette. Thank you for joining. Good evening, by the way. How are you, Anna? Bye, teacher. Okay, thank you. Well, listen up, Anna. No worries. Listen up. Ahorita lo que estamos eh, para hacer un breve resumen de lo que hemos hecho. Estuvimos discutiendo un poco con el examen. Estamos revisando los puntos. Vamos haciendo uno sección por sección, ¿verdad? Es lo que hicimos primero. Luego nos pasamos acá a la clase, ¿verdad? Tenemos el tema World Power School Dates. This is what we already did. Lo que acabamos de hacer. Your classmates were classifying the, the words. These words. Classroom, kindergarten, elementary, gym, high, history, junior high, lunch room, math. Uh, ok, teacher. No le escucho muy bien. No tengo bien todavía el inter. Oh, ok. No worries. Bueno, no se preocupe. Eh, lo recomiendo. Vamos a seguir. Si tienes dudas, me avisa. Creo que tiene problemas ahorita de, de señal, ¿verdad? No, no me va a escuchar bien, probablemente. Eh, lo que sí le recomiendo, ¿verdad? A los que tengan problemas es que revisemos y bueno, veamos el video luego. No se preocupe. ¿Ok? No worries. And right now, we are asking and answering the following questions, right? Where do you go to elementary school? 
right? So I will select more participants. Uh, Walter, where do you go to elementary school? Uh, I went to uh, Complejo Educativo La Chadura. Okay. Okay. Uh, Walter, can you select somebody else, another classmate? Okay. Um, uh, Jenny Sarai. Okay. Can you ask a question to Jenny, Walter? The same question. Okay. Uh, Jenny. Uh, where did you go to elementary school? I went to Complejo Educativo Ignacio Pacheco Castro. All right. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Walter. Okay, let's go with the second question. I want to listen to you again uh, to more people, right? The second question says, what were your favorite subjects in high school? Oh, Erika Yesenia, thank you. No worries. Hello, Erika. Sorry. Good evening. ¿Me escucha bien, Erika? Ella sí, sí. Ok. No sé si eh, se me hace una pregunta. O hace... Dígame. Eh, tengo una gran duda. Estaba viendo por acá en internet, pero, pero sería más fácil que usted me lo explicara. ¿Cuáles son los niveles educativos en Estados Unidos? O sea... ¿A qué nos referimos con elementary, high school? Porque aquí estoy leyendo y menciona varios niveles. Junior high school, middle high school, o algo por algo así. Pero ¿cuáles son los niveles entonces? Para diferenciarlos con los del país, o sea, pa, no, perdón, para asimilarlos con los del país. Yeah, preschool is like, as we say in Spanish, like kinder cuatro, as preschool. Kindergarten is the one that we know, like Parvularia, right? Yeah. Kindergarten. And okay, then we have a elementary school. Elementary school, in that case, we have um, grades from first grade to sixth grade. Primaria. Exactly, primaria, so it's been in Spanish. Or básica, como le llamó. I'm not sure with junior high school. Let me look for it because, yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused. Yeah, I was thinking of that. You know, high school, it, it is like, we know here in Estado, it's a secret. The grades from seven grades to nine grades. And then we have high school. High school in this case is, you know, in Spanish, like bachillerato, right? First grade, second grade. I'm oh, sorry, first year, second year. In in El Salvador, we know them like this, right? Like first year, second year. But in in the United States, they say like uh, 11 grade, 12 grade. So that's the way they call them. Yeah, like 10 grades, 10 grades. 11th grade. El bachillerato. Yes. They call it like this. Eh, de esa forma como ellos lo, lo denominan. Mm -hmm. Como grados también. Es 10th grade, 11th grade. Y en, en nuestro país es que lo conocemos como primer año, segundo año, tercer año. Así como lo, lo llamamos. Serían como lo... Our education system, right? Sería como catalogado nuestro sistema educativo. De esa forma es como lo eh, eh, es en Estados Unidos. Obviamente en, en otros países es diferente. Because in, in British, in British it's easy to identify these eh, kinds of schools in, 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 in the United Kingdom. Because eh, they say like, I don't remember exactly the first one about Parvularia kindergarten, but they have like primary school and secondary school. Primary school is like elementary school, I mean, but we include junior high school. Secondary school 
Okay, this is, if I am not mistaken, this is like high school, secondary school. So it's different. They have like three kinds of schools, I think. Three kinds of schools. Solo, solo como un aporte. En algunos estados, el high school es como un técnico, porque ya puede trabajar usted. Sí, sí, exacto. Algunos estados. Es de esa forma. El sistema educativo es bien diferente en otros países. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, y, yeah, I was with Erika, right? Erika dice, no sé si me, me pudo, si se me hace un momento o hace minutos atrás. Se escuchó la explicación de, de lo anterior, empezamos ahorita, las preguntas. Erika. Sí, teacher, me conecté okay. justo cuando estaba explicando, bueno, antes de... This. Antes de eso, sí. Ok, perfecto, thank you. Continuing with the questions, Erika, and everybody. The second question is, what were your favorite subjects, favorite subjects in high school? My favorite subjects were math, science, and English. What about you guys? And by the way, Gloria shared the, the answer for the first question in the chat. So Gloria went to Centro Escolar Bernardo Perdomo in Vasco. Yes. But in, in those countries in the United States, in the, talking about high school, the careers are different in some cases. Las carreras eh, en bachillerato son un poquito distintas. Eh, porque nosotros por lo general tenemos general, ¿verdad? Para la redundancia general, contador. Y tenemos las demás, ¿verdad? Eh, salud, etc. Las más comunes, pues, general y contador, ¿verdad? Eh, allá, como lo mencionaba, ahí me son como, esa, como cuando estamos acá diplomados, ¿no? Pero va a depender, hay diferentes caso, carreras, por decirlo así, en cuanto a bachillerato. Son diferentes algunas. Algunas son, se asemejan, ¿verdad? Son de salud, probablemente contador, pero en general es como que es diferente. ¿Ok? Yes, thank you. Well, I will listen to some participants for these questions. Daniel, what were your favorite subjects in high school? Uh, my favorite subject were math, uh, technical drawing, and science. And science, okay. When you say technical drawing, I think you're referring to art, right? Like art. Yes, right. Um, I'm study architecture. Oh, okay, I see. All right, perfect. Thank you, Daniel. See him. Hmm. Veronica Milagro, what, what were your favorite subjects in high school? My favorite subject is English. Oh, okay. Right now or in the past? Because um, right, now, right now, in the yeah, past, right in the past is, is was. Uh, was in the past was uh, science. Science, okay. Remember my favorite subject was. Give me a second. I'm sorry. It's okay, no worries. My favorite subject was the science. Okay, repeat again. Monica, my favorite subject was science. Monica, please. My favorite subject was science. 
my favorite su subject was science. Yes, thank you. Okay, that is the second possibility, right? The second question. Number three. Who was your first teacher? Do you remember? Who was your first teacher? My first teacher was Carmen. Carmen Idalia, I remember. So he was my first teacher in kindergarten. What about you? Who was your first teacher? See, it is. Oh, can you Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> your first my, teacher? My first teacher was Julia. Julia, okay. Here. Yeah. Edith, what about you? What was your first teacher? Who was your first teacher? Yes, I remember. My first teacher was Selena. Selena. My mother, my mother. Oh, your mother, wow. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Awesome. So she was your yes. teacher, Edith? Yes. Uh, when? I mean, uh, in kindergarten? Uh, what kind of a school? Kindergarten. Oh, kindergarten, okay. In Centro Escolar. Benito Juárez, José Carla Murazán. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. That's awesome. Very good. Thank you, Edith, for sharing. You're welcome. Okay. Jaime, who was your first teacher? The TV teacher. <laughs> well, that's a great, that's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Very good. But, but do, you remember, do you remember, I mean, the, the, your first teacher? Uh, no, I don't, the okay. I don't remember this. <laughs> okay, no worries. Thank you, Jaime, for sharing. Uh, Gloria sharing the chat. My favorite subjects were language, social studies, and English. Uh, Gloria, creo que cuando se refiere a language, está refiriendo al lenguaje. Yes? Because the language is different. The language is referring to different. Uh, Languages, right? Like French, English, Portuguese, etc. So that is language. So that is the subject. Uh, if you want to say lenguaje literatura, then English is literature. Literature. That is the subject. So in this case, yeah, you learn about grammar, rules, structures, etc. But if you say language, you're referring to, you know, different or a variety of languages, French, English, Japanese, Mandarin, etc. And the subject in this case, if we are referring to language, so you say literature, literature, okay? Perfect, thank you, Glenn, for sharing the chat. E, well, let me see. You're welcome, Gladio. I will continue with more participants. Hi, Megan, can you do me a favor? Can you select somebody else, please? Okay, teacher, one moment. Yeah. Give me a second. Um, um, Gloria Lopez. Okay, can you ask a question to Gloria, please? The same question. Who was your first teacher? Gloria, who was the first teacher? Yes. Who was your first teacher? Okay. Oh, she's going to share the chat, I think. Okay. Let me see. We're going to wait a moment because uh, Gloria is currently sharing the chat. Okay, in the meantime, listen. We're going to move on to the last part. Okay. And we have another question. Why? When do you graduate from high school? When do you graduate from high school? I graduated from high school in 2014. Okay. Gerardo, I think you want to share, uh, you want to participate, sorry. Gerardo? Okay, listen. Because of the time, we're going to move on to the following activity. Vamos a irnos a la siguiente actividad por el tiempo. 
porque tengo preparado para ustedes, vamos a finalizar de esa manera. Eh, ok, I'm going to share Gloria's example. My first teacher, Gloria said, my first teacher was Concepción. Thank you, Gloria. Vamos a hacer la siguiente actividad, ok. Eh, por el tiempo, pues tenemos 10 minutos aún, de 10 a 11 minutos. Recuerden que iniciamos a las 9 y 5, así que tengo que completar las 60 minutos. Tenemos todavía tiempo. Completamos la actividad, ¿ok? Vámonos con Kahoot. Me lo, me, lo, me lo solicitaba, así es que vamos con el último Kahoot. Vamos a practicar con Simple Pass. Simple Pass. Así es que rapidito, les voy a compartir el link. Creo que directamente en WhatsApp. Métame. Ya les voy a compartir también el pin de juego. Ya estamos familiarizados todos con el juego, así es que creo que son un paso más fácil. Hmm. Con 10 preguntas nos vamos a ir con Simple Pass. Vamos a tener alrededor de 10 a, a 20 segundos, perdón. Te dije minutos. Segundos, así es que vamos ahorita. Ya les compartí el link, por favor, empecemos. Y ahora les comparto el link de, jue el link de juego, perdón. Esta va a ser la última actividad. Así que vamos a practicar con cinco pads. Hemos ingresado el link todos. Lo compartí en WhatsApp. Yes, teacher. Ok, ese es el pin de juego. 48051349. Y hacemos el pin. Ahorita somos. Espero que todos se puedan unir. 27. Ya coloco el link, teacher. Sí, por, en WhatsApp lo, lo envié. Pero se los pueden ver por, por, por en el chat de Zoom también. Cualquier cosa. Ya tenemos abierto eh, WhatsApp. A mí también. Eh, acá se lo comparto ahorita. There you go. Ya lo compartí. En el chat de Teams. Realmente ahorita tengo problemas de... Me hace restablecer, pero tenía problemas de conexión también. Ok, right now I have five participants. Ya tengo cinco, bueno, seis participantes, siete, muy bien, diez. No hace falta diecisiete. Ok, Walter, Luis, Jaime, Jancy, José, Víctor, Mónica, Luis, Walter, Matt, Ruth, Rigue, twelve participants. 14 participants, Jocelyn, Veronica, 15, Gloria, Elizabeth, 17, we're missing 10 participants, nos falta 10 participantes, Ana María, ok, 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 vamos a 8 participantes, Jenna, very good, 7, Uh, remember, this is about simple presence. Uh, the Kahoot is about simple presence, simple password, simple pass. The Kahoot va a ser, va a ser acerca de simple pass. Okay. Uh, 21, simple we're pass. Here. Simple pass, simple pass. 22, we're missing five. Para que se se puedan ver todos. 23, good. 4, solo 4. En cuanto se unan, nos iniciamos. Más se unan a 27 y iniciamos. Y recuerden, si lo saca el juego, se pueden volver a unir. También va a estar en la parte inferior derecha. Vamos a iniciar, que se hace en un minuto. Lo siento, si alguien no se puede unir. Por el tiempo, bueno, todavía hay tiempo, pero no sé que tienen algunas otras cosas que hacer. Eh, 24, yes, good.
¿Quién me hace falta? No he tenido problemas. Ok, now ya yeah, Dagna is here, good, that's nice. Dagna está acá, me recuerdo que ya no pude hacer la vez pasada. Muy bien. Si no se esperan un día la vez pasada, espero que se hayan podido ver ese día. Vamos a iniciar en un par de segundos. Hemos quedado con 23. Yo y lo pues, tengo, sí. uh, sorry, lo tengo pero en, en mi teléfono. Claro, Porque claro. No me pude hacer en la compu. Exacto, es, es mucho mejor, porque se puede estar viendo la pregunta en la computadora y puede estar contestando en su teléfono, es mucho mejor. Ok, okay we're going to start because of the time, guys. Oops, I'm having issues with the internet. Wow. Justamente ahorita tengo problemas con internet. Podría ser ya se solucionó, espero que no siga con los problemas de conexión. Ok, vamos a iniciar por el tiempo, ¿verdad? 10 preguntas, sin culpas. Vamos a ver el último Kahoot. Ok, good, Verónica is here. Un par de segundos más, para si alguien se une. ¿Alguien más? Hmm. Falta tres participantes. Creo que ya se hacen problemas. Ok, we're going to start, guys. Vamos a iniciar por el tiempo, ¿verdad? Okay, si se pueden encontrar, hagan. Ah, se puede. Se pueden encontrar. Alexis R. Simple pass. Ten questions. Number one. Last year I to England on holiday. Go, been, went, gone. And the answer, I went. Last year, I went to England on holiday. Remember, this is simple pass. Good. Let's see the positions. Good. Sonia, Jaime, Ruth, Victor, and Daniel. So those are the first positions. Number two. Day at the cinema last night. Was, go, where, or go? Day. Simple pass, simple pass. Five seconds. Okay, and the answer is, yeah, they were. They were at the cinema last night. Pretty good. Okay, we're changing positions, Ruth. Sonia, Victor, Jaime, and Walter. Next, number three. When, will, where, when you, you were John? Sorry, where, when you were John? Complete the question. Ten seconds. Five seconds. And the answer is, where do you live when you were John? That is the answer. The positions. Okay, Sonia, Ruth, Walter, Veronica, Milagro, and Jancy. Good, that's good. So people are, you know, they are going up. And some people are going down. Next, number four. She French at the university. Did I study? Did I study? Did I study? And well. Okay, number five. Number five. Number five. This is negative. Negative one.
10 seconds. 5. And the answer is she didn't study French at university. That is the answer. Remember that when we have negative, the, the verb is in the base form, not in the, in the past form. This is the spelling. Okay. A just is in the preposition and Jaime is in the preposition. We continue with Sonia at the top. Number five. Where before you came here? Do you work? Do you teach? Do you teach? And do you do you talk? Answer is where do you teach where you can hear? So remember when we have questions, the verb is in the base form. Teach. These verbs are in the past form. This is in the past form, this is in the past form, and this is incorrect because teach is irregular. Next. Okay, Ruth Elizabeth in the first position, Walter in the second one, Sonia, Jansen, and Jaime. Number six. Lucy, a very calm child. B, the B was aware. And the answer is, Lucy was a very calm child. Wasn't where, remember, wasn't where. Okay. Perfect. Ruth, Walter, Sonia, Jaime, and Victor. Number seven. To London by plane. When Susan traveled, Susan, did Susan go? Did Susan travel? Complete the question. <clears throat> The answer, does that, this doesn't go to London by plane? That is the answer, simple pass. This is not uh, correct because the verb is in the, in the past form, travel. X. Okay, so now Jan is in the verb position, Veronica is in the fifth position. Next, number eight, what about the finish? I in Brazil for two years. Lead, 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 and lead. Simple pass or not? Simple pass. I live I live in Brazil for two years. Yeah, that is the answer. Okay. Perfect. Ruth, Walter, Jancy, Veronica, and Sonia. Let's go with number nine. James, the piano. Didn't play, didn't play, wasn't played, wasn't played. What is the answer? Look at the answer. Didn't play. James didn't play. Base form, remember? Base form. Don't forget. Negative form. All these verbs are in, well, these ones are in past form. And this one is incorrect. Okay? Perfect. Hold in. 
Give the same positions. Let's go with the last one, guys. Number 10. She, $20 for the phone call. Pay, paid, paid, be paid. Ten seconds. Hi. Okay, and the answer is paid. So this is an irregular verb. Regular. That's why it's this form. Paid. She paid twenty dollars for the phone call. So now let's see the results. Let's see the positions, guys. The position we get. Enrica Hilaro, wow. In the second position, we got Walter. And in the first position, we got Ruth, right? Now let's see the, the fifth position and the fourth position. In the fifth position, we got Jocelyn. In the fourth position, we got Jancy. Congratulations. Well, guys, eh, this is all for today. It has been a pleasure to be with you, to work with you during these 16 classes. Thank you so much for your dedication, participation, and the great efforts that you made right during this module, which is basic or beginner three, right? Thank you so much again. Uh, well, muchas gracias. Gracias a todos por, por su tiempo, por su dedicación, esfuerzo en cada clase, ¿verdad? Sé que vamos a continuar haciendo un buen trabajo en los próximos módulos. Recuerden, y repito la próxima información, la fecha para inicio del próximo módulo está tentativa, es decir, no hay fecha aún todavía, pero que pronto se, va, se les va a proporcionar. Estamos pendientes de los diferentes medios de comunicación, correo, eh, WhatsApp, por favor, para que ustedes estén listos para el siguiente módulo. Y nuevamente, muchas gracias. Gracias por todo. Eh, Hemos aprendido nuevas cosas, he aprendido nuevas cosas de ustedes, claro, al igual que ustedes, para que hayan pues, adquirido nuevo conocimiento, hayan aprendido nuevas cosas y pues estamos a la orden para cualquier cosa, si necesitan ayuda, apoyo, claro, con gusto. Es que espero verlos en próximos los módulos, ¿verdad? Para verlos a todos y pues, thank you so much, it's a pleasure. Nice to meet you again. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye, guys. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Have a good night. See you soon. Gracias, teacher. Gracias por su ayuda y dedicación, teacher. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank you too. I appreciate your work. My my pleasure too. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. Bye, friend. Teacher. Bye bye. It's a pleasure. Have a good night, guys. God bless you. Bye bye. Adiós chicos, adiós. Bye, bye. Take care. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Bye bye. Bye, bye. thank you, teacher. Bye, bye. Anytime, bye bye. Thank you.